So I've been asked to do a video on this by one of one of the students um, from the most recent PPE, and that is our question on explain how human activity has impacted a uh, not coastal landscape. Apologies, it's a uh, fluvial or river uh, named river landscape that you've studied. So um, explain how human activity and and activities that are associated with urban areas usually have created problems or have um, altered the way that a river works. Now, uh, the question itself, if you look at it, um, in your paper it said name a river basin and then explain how human activity has influenced the uh, geomorphic processes of a river. So, uh, different ways that it can be asked. Um, so, I'm just going to highlight the term geomorphic processes here. Um, So anything to do with the landscape, anything to do with land, and um, you know the the rocks and the um, the rate of of erosion um, as it cuts into those rocks, or the flooding of the landscape, the land underneath the water, um, those are some of the things that you can talk about in this question. However, um, just for the purpose of of some of the strategies that I've been trying to show you recently, uh, the usual think about the command word, so box that. Um, underline any of the key terms that are going to be important for the question. So our question had this key term here instead of impact, or it, I think it said influenced. Um, fluvial landscape or just a uh, landscape you've studied surround near a river or in a river basin, as the question in our paper said. Um, so I'll just highlight that it was you were asked to name a river basin. There was a few students that were a little bit confused by this. The idea that the basin, remember, it's the area that's drained by a river, so the landscape, the area drained by a river. Um, so I've been trying to show you the kind of the hide strategy. So we've got our H for highlight, and we've done that. So we've we've highlighted those words. Um, we want to now kind of identify some additional words that are going to help us build an answer to this as we're practicing this question. Um, could be useful in the build up to examinations and then that practice kind of gets embedded into your brain. Um, so the identify stage of the hide strategy then is going to be to come up with some words associated with these terms, the words that come to your mind. So okay, impact or influence, um, that could be um, kind of tier two or tier three terms. So some of the tier two terms that you might come up from that are, well how does how how do the how does the river change things and what's another way of saying that so it alters the river um so alters or alterations to the way that the river works you might say that there might be um increases in certain things and there might be decreases in other things so increase and decrease okay and uh, and you might say then that it might also cut out or or, or remove or stop something prevent something entirely so prevent could be a useful word here those would be some tier three term two tier two terms in term uh, once we've highlighted the idea of influencing or ch or changing geomorphic processes well, what about the landscape itself or the human activities associated with the river that we've studied so human activities themselves we might say things like afforestation um, might have of course positively influenced um, the amount of flooding that might hap happen, limiting it, decreasing it, preventing it in some cases. Um, come back to that idea later on. Deforestation, the other end of that, is is going to is going to decrease and alter the amount of uh, water that will be absorbed. It'll reduce the amount of interception that takes place, um, and then the the Thames barrier or river barriers. So I'll just I'll put that word in brackets because there's other barriers that have been created. Ours is not the only one. You could talk about river dams. Um, not in this case study, but it is a, a thing that could be brought up. So if you know, um, if you were asked about something influencing geomorphic processes, it's not it's not going to happen. But if you were asked about that in a a country like Zambia, you you could talk about the Kariba Dam and how it's changed. Um, erosion, etc. 
Um, okay, so the ones that we're really going to be thinking about are these three so far, and then we've got things like um, the allowing rivers to flood naturally, that could, which is you know consequence of creating the Thames barrier as well, um, and then river straightening. So river straightening, put that here. Another word for that is channelization, as you had in your textbook. So I'm just put channelization in in brackets here. Um, and then there's also urbanization, so another idea that you could, that you could put down. Um, and then landscapes that you've studied, so place-specific uh, place specific details. Okay, so place-specific details got the Thames barrier we've already mentioned, so the River Thames in general. River Thames, okay, that's one we can talk about. Generally, the Jubilee River. We've got Maidenhead, Eton. These are places that have been um, affected by the river straightening positively, so Maidenhead, Eton, and Windsor. And then we've also got Raysbury and Staines, which have been affected negatively by the, time, uh, the creation of the River Thames River straightening at the Jubilee River. Um, those are some named places there. We've also got Parking Riverside, which we could talk about in terms of allowing rivers to flood naturally and um, being affected by the Thames barrier on the wrong side of it. Um, and we've got Woolwich. And then on the other side of that, we've got Central London, which is being um, positively affected by the Thames barrier, so central London. Okay, so having now come up with a lot of key terms in a planning stage of our answer, we come down and we think about how do we put this into, into practice, how do we put this into developing ideas. So, for example, let's come up with a sample sentence or two using these terms. So we use the question as well, so an, a human activity that I have studied. Is, you could mention any of these here, you could say, let's just take, oh, we could take afforestation apply our theory rather than using named places in this part of it. So we could say human activity that I have studied is afforestation, which can increase the amount of absorption of rainwater. That's something we know, that's some theory that we know. This occurs through interception. Therefore, interception can lead to a reduction in flood water. Right, so I've used, or, or it can prevent flood water. You could use that term here, so prevention of, in the prevention of flood water. Right, so that's a developed idea that we've come up with that. Another developed idea that we might we might come down and do could be something to do with um, one of the, the case studies that we've done. So, for example, river straightening or channelization is a process that humans undertake, highlighting that idea that it's a human activity. Uh, we can say a lot about this um, in order for it to uh, alter natural processes of rivers, such as the Thames. So some of the things that we know about this is that when we um, undertake the process of channelization on a river, channelization can reduce the amount of lateral 
and vertical erosion, but we'll focus on the idea of lateral erosion here, because it's what it's going to do is you have your river meander starting to form, div divert some of this water this way, so this is the this is the channelization here, this is the original river here, you usually have your um, inside bend here which is slower, your outside bend here which is faster, you've got your lateral erosion taking place here, it's going to happen much much less if not at all here meaning that the the river has been straightened and the river is going to carry its water directly to another place something like Raysbury and Staines down here so let's say that's Raysbury so channelization can reduce the amount of lateral erosion at river meanders that are beginning to form or at river meanders um, that could ha could be there in the future so places like Maidenhead Eaton, Windsor, any of those. And then as a result of that we can then go on in our answer and we can embed the idea that we know about the place names such as Maidenhead experiencing less flood water. So we can come down here. When we think about putting it into our answer we could build on this. We could say um, therefore this impacts geomorphic processes at places like Eaton, Maidenhead, etc., which will flood less and form less me meanders. Okay, so you don't need to, you can't, it's not the only thing you can say. Um, and then you can then go on and talk about the idea of, uh, however, this has consequences for areas downstream. Places like Raysbury and Staines, which are going to flood more. All right, and um, that's going to have a consequence for the amount of sediment that's then removed. Um, sediment c being carried, transportation is a is a type of process that the river under undergoes as well. So, again, another another thing in terms of the tier two that we can link in is how we alter the amount of sediment being carried by a river. It's a geomorphic process. It's to do with the geology of the river. Okay, so that is um, under 15 minutes, which is great. So we don't have to, we don't have to redo this. If you could, um, you know, practice this in your own time. I know the students who've requested this video uh, will find this very useful. But it's a difficult question. Um, with your knowledge, you should be able to answer it with no e with no issues. Having practiced this content, I've seen some really good answers on this. You just need a little bit of tweaking here and there, and just a little bit of a, a little bit of extra information, or focus on some more geomorphic processes that are being changed. Some more um, things like you know lateral erosion. The, the transportation of sediment, some things that we've just discussed in our in our answer, uh, flooding, and a number of other things that you can mention from our study. Okay, so good luck with that.